can just update us on, on Nate, how he did today. Practice today. So we'll see how it uh, responds, but he's out there practicing. You feel more positive today than? Oh, yeah, he's much better than he was yesterday. Would you give him a percentage on his speed, 90%? No, I'm just, he practiced today. How did he time. say he felt afterwards? He said, said he felt pretty good. You know, I, I think anytime that you have an injury uh, to the ankle, then, you know, it, it's, it's going to progress. Uh, and it's been pro- progressing, and we'll have to make that decision on, uh, on uh, Thursday after practice. What are the things today that he couldn't do? I'm not going to ask answer any more questions on Nate. Nate practiced today. If you want to ask me questions about the University of Illinois football team, I'd be happy to, but Nate practiced today. Coach, what's the toughest part about going on the road? They were 5-2 and two at home last year, 1-5 on the road. What, what is it about Arizona State that makes them so much better at home? Not so sure about what makes them better. I think any time you go on the road, Lauren, I think it's uh, – it, you know, it, it's tough because that's where, you know, I, as I first learned as a graduate assistant uh, about as a, as a grad assistant from Coach Dyes, you know, you win championships on the road. If you can learn to focus and, and take your football team on the road and win. And we were lucky enough at, uh, at uh, uh, the University of Toledo to do that. And now, you know, we're trying to instill the same philosophies that we did uh, when we were at uh, UT. What do you think no, about, no matter who the quarterback is, what, what, what are you looking for? What, what kind of improvement where are you looking for? Just more consistency on, 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 on offense. We've got to run the ball better. We've got to get the ball to the playmakers more. You know, John, John Davis had a good game for us, but, uh, you know, we've got to be able to get Malines the football more. We've got to get Ferguson the ball out more and Young the ball more. And, and just, just all of our guys that are capable of making plays, Langford, uh, we've got to be able to get them the football and give them opportunities to be successful. How would you rate your performance in the line, offensive line? The, the same team? as I did with the rest of the offense. I mean, I, th- I really think that, that we controlled the ball well, uh, and then when, when Nate went down, we, we hit kind of a slump. There's no question about it. So uh, we've got to improve on that. We've got to uh, know that regardless of whoever's uh, taking the snaps, that uh, we've got to be able to respond. How do you get the playmakers of Is that on quarterbacks or is that on uh, play calling or what? All of us. I mean, I think it's on the on all of the uh, from the coaches to the players to you know setting things up so that the guys can get the football. Can you talk a little bit about how Riley O'Toole's practiced this week? I thought Riley and Miles, uh, you know, are, are probably neck and neck right now uh, to determine on who's going to be the starting quarterback for us on Thursday. Um, you know, and and we'll see how Nathan progresses. Of course, Nathan hasn't had the number of reps, but uh, you know, uh, Riley and Miles are pretty. They both had reps with the ones. We'll make the decision on Thursday after practice. Battle on the offensive line, too, for some playing time. How's that going? Uh, I think it's going good. You know, Simon's back, so we'll be able to use Simon a little bit more. And uh, we've moved a couple guys around a little bit, so we'll uh, make that determination. That's why you practice. That's why you you play the game of football. You you evaluate. You uh, critique what you've been doing. You make that evaluation. And then on Thursday, you announce your who's going to be playing for you. And with Shupo and, and Steve Hall, they've been getting some rotation, some, some reps in practice as well. Steve Hall has gotten a lot more reps than Shupo has. Do you think Justin Staples returning will impact the game? Uh, you know, I, we're glad Justin's back. Justin's had, had a great, um, uh, you know, camp and eight months of football. You know, he had that mistake, and you're gonna, he's going to learn from that mistake, and that's why he was uh, suspended for that first game. So, um, you know, um, we're, we're happy he's back. We knew some of the big names on defense, but to see guys like Ernest and Ashante step up big, what, what does that mean for your defense going forward? Well, I think it's huge. I mean, those young men have, have bought into what we're trying to do and, and really stepped up their game. And, you know, in the game of football, you know, it's, it's hard to make it through the whole uh, 12 to 14 football game. So, uh, an Ernest Thomas coming in and Ashanti, the way that he played for his first, you know, really big start. I mean, it was, uh, I was, I was proud of the way they responded to coaching and proud of the way they responded to, uh, you know, evaluating themselves, evaluating their opponent and preparing for the game. How much is this defense looking forward to the challenge of Arizona State, especially after uh, how well they performed against Western Michigan? Well, I think, uh, I think as a football team, we're, we're, excited about this challenge, not just offensively and defense. Arizona State is a, very, is a good, good football team, very good team, in my opinion. After watching them on film and seeing what they can do and the athletes that they have on offense and defense, they're a good football team. So we're going to have to have our A game ready, and uh, we're going to have to go to their place and play the way that we're capable of playing.